Like Michael yeah. Pittman Jr., and we've seen he's quarterback proof. Like this is a guy who's going to contend to catch 100 balls every year, 1,200 yards. It's you know he's going to catch. He's going to be the number one and guy. Picked up, but Adonai now Mitchell. they have Josh Downs. I was going to bring him up next. Adonai Mitchell could be special as a third wide receiver, like with his skill set. Yeah. We saw him in Texas, and like <laughs> athletes recognize athletes. So Anthony Richardson is the type of dude. He won't be afraid to chuck the ball up to Adonai Mitchell down the field. He's going to yeah. take shots with that on yeah. him. So there is big play capability in this offense, especially if he's going to be dedicated to the run game. Mitchell is uh, that kind of dude, too. Some George Pickens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And remember, Jelani Woods started showing something last year, too. Another sleeper at tight end this year. I said, you know, I don't know how many balls are going to be. Former basketball player. Around. Yeah. You know, everyone yeah, drools I, over the next Antonio games. I think Jonathan Thought, Taylor right, will be. <laughs> yeah. We already, already saw the next Travis right. Kelsey. I think Jonathan Taylor is going to play a tremendous role in this offense. Yeah. I think in order for Richardson's game to really work in the RPOs and the zone read and him being a part of the run game, you're going to have to have Jonathan Taylor, you know, really tote the rock quite a bit. And I think that th they will do that as long as he stays healthy. So you want a healthy Jonathan Taylor, a healthy Anthony Richardson, then you've got one heck of an offense because the offensive line is actually pretty good too. So if they all stay healthy for the, you know, duration of the actual season, there's Woody, you would hit the nail on the head. He, Anthony Richardson could put up at least top 10 fantasy football numbers. Uh, at least this year, if or he's, even if he stays healthy, at yeah, least because he could rush for five or six hundred yards easy, right? Yeah, with ten touchdowns, next to that. yeah, like he could do that. Yep, especially if they're doing goal line stuff with him, you know, being a part of that, even if it's not tush push type of stuff, it's it doesn't have to be gimmicky, it could be zone read type stuff. And also, don't sleep on the Colts bringing in Joe Flacco because you're sitting there going, Oh, Joe Flacco is a pocket quarterback. Why would we care about that? Well, Joe Flacco stands six five in the pocket, just like Anthony Richardson. Oh, yeah. So to have a vet That's there to be able to teach him actual pocket presence and use his size to his advantage, I think that's just a, a smart move bringing yeah. in that guy. Let's uh any more thoughts on Anthony Richardson? Bust. Um, yeah, Nate hates him. Just Nate hates him. Nate, Nate's Two for two on who he hates so far. We started that way on purpose. So, <laughs> yeah. all right. Hey, I never now, said I hated Will Levis. I know. That's right. Oh, I don't know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>